Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Saturday, August 23rd. Uh, I think it's around, wow, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this is a, a update news report on the stimulus package, mainly the direct stimulus $1,200 that we all been waiting for uh, for months. Uh, and I haven't been on here to do any reports lately because it's just been the same thing each day that uh, the other guys also that have been reporting, you know, um, and it, I mean, it's good to keep update even if it's nothing, just so we know. But uh, it's just been the same thing back and forth between the Republicans and the Democrats. Uh, really, everything has been stalled since the 7th of August, and they really haven't done any talking, negotiations or anything since then. And uh, since uh, the Senate went on recess so they all can go back to their states and uh, do their uh, politicianing, uh, they was going to be gone for the whole month of August all the way up to September 8th. And then negotiations for the stimulus package, for unemployment, for eviction protections, uh, and all of these other things was going to be on hold until September 8th. And then they'll start negotiations again with uh, no, uh, nothing together. So even if it started on the, the September 8th, they didn't agree on the most important things that they needed to. Uh, so it would take longer. But this would happen. Uh, the post office, which has been having financial problems for years now, uh, is on the brink of... Uh, they got problems. Uh, they've been uh, working in the red, uh, ready to shut down, and you know, there's still a lot of people in this world that, uh, I mean, in America, that depend on the post office and businesses and a whole bunch of things. So uh, we still need them, and uh, they, but they need help from the government. And um, with this voting uh, mail thing, president's uh, thing going on. Uh, they was having a problem feeling that, you know, with the money shortage and things like that, that they weren't going to be able to correctly uh, get the votes in on time and uh, safely for the presidential election. So, uh, with senators on recess, uh, they didn't have no way to get these people money, which they both sides, Republicans and Democrats, and the president noted, uh, agree that they need to give uh, the uh, post office money help, as well as they agreed on uh, all of them. Republicans, Democrats, and the president agreed that uh, also the $1,200 stimulus, and they ain't seen nothing different but $1,200, need to go directly to Americans also. Uh, but negotiations stalled because of other things. You know the the Democratic uh, Democrats uh, total bill stimulus bill added up to three trillion dollars, which was too high for Republicans. The Republicans came out with a bill which is called the Hills Act, came up to one trillion dollars, which cut out a whole bunch of things that the Democrats wanted, mainly for states and uh, cities, I guess, to help them out in different ways. Uh, so things stall, including our checks, uh, unemployment checks, eviction uh, protection, uh, and all these other things they put in there. They don't want to do it half. They won't, if they don't agree on enough, all is on hold. And that's what's been going on. So, but the post office is really important. They need that now. They can't wait. So Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi call back to senators she she put this in days ago for them to come back today saturday and vote on this bill to give usps money specifically not the other stuff that you know we've been waiting on for months just the post office because they feel the government feel that uh the post office's problem uh is more important is the most important thing going on uh, outside of, you know, not outside of, is more important than 
the things that's going on with the COVID-19, people being out of work, uh, the kids going back to school, people getting evicted, uh, you know, unemployment, all of these things that's going on, uh, okay, that's, that's a problem. But this post office thing, uh, not being able to get these votes through right, and all these things is more important because we need these votes. Uh, that's arguably arguable, but who knows? Any rate, this is the good news. Since she calling them back early, uh, they came. Uh, they uh, and for the vote, we hoping they didn't say this, but you know it's just logical. <laughs> Whatever that you know. It's just logical for them to vote also on this uh, bill that they finna vote on to give USPS money uh, to vote on the other things to get the stimulus package done. So they came up with a, another bill outside of the HEROES Act that the um, Democrats uh, came up with, which was $3 trillion, outside of the HEROES Act that the Republicans came up with that cost one trillion they came up with another bill which is uh, some give the Americans money right away kind of thing um, better known as the skinny act <laughs> um, thing it's taking both from both parties and, 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 and uh, I guess uh, slim them both down so that they can get some kind of uh, bill passed so that uh, all of these things that I mentioned earlier, direct money to uh, Americans, uh, eviction uh, protection, unemployment, uh, money for these schools, uh, and things like that, that we need right now because of COVID, uh, they put all of these into the Skinny Act. Um, reading through the proposal of the Skinny Act, it didn't specifically say really anything about the $1,200 stimulus, even though we know they all agree on it. So, you know, it's 90% chance after negotiations, they have put that in there, you know. Um, and that's kind of from uh, Mark Meadows interview earlier today, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. Um, Mark Meadows is the top speaker for the Republicans in the House. Nancy Pelosi is the top speaker for the Democrats in the House. And, uh, I believe that the, obviously the Republicans control the House because the President is a Republican, okay? And he controls or is supposed to control everything. So they need, uh, he, they calling them back today to vote on this and get this, this uh, get the U, uh, USPS, the uh, postal office, some money. So, I mean, that's kind of automatic. It's going to happen. And hopefully in that, they're going to say, let's vote on this skinny act and uh, do that. And why we think all that's going to happen is because Mark Meadows, which really haven't been in the meetings, came to Washington today, earlier today, to specifically talk to Nancy Pelosi, the speaker for the Democrats, to try to pressure them into getting this done today. Not just a postal thing, because they knew they were going to get that done. He came, he caught the airplane, did what he needed to do with his entourage. They came down, so because they wanted to also get the Skinny Act passed, which is going to include all those other things that we've been talking about. Specifically, and most importantly, direct cash money to the Americans. So, uh, this what happened today. Mark Meadows came and uh, he went to Nancy Pelosi's suite, where her office at, uh, which he don't usually do, uh, to talk to her specifically and personally about getting this passed, so they can get it passed. And the word is, from him because he went there and they interviewed him and then put it in the news um, that when he went to her suite and you know went in there to meet her her people told him she was at a meeting so she couldn't talk to him which obviously she knew he was coming they too big to be not knowing when another mug from you know houses and different stuff is coming they had it 
you know what I'm saying? But they, it's still some other games. Um, and, um, but most importantly, the president also said yesterday and the day before, he said, hey, when the Senate come back to, on Saturday, I'll be there to sign same day, whatever they come up with. I want to get the American, he said he want to get the American people some money, whether it's a, a ploy for votes or whatever the deal is, and he talks shit all the time, but uh, he said he, he'll do it, he'll sign it. The Republicans said, hey, we willing to go up to $2,000, $2, uh, $2 trillion. You know what I'm saying? If the Democrats ready to come down from three to two. The Democrats said, hey, if they go up, you know, double their trillion to two trillion, we really we willing to negotiate with that. So that's a lot of agreement, seems like to me, to get this signed today. You know, if they do it in time. Uh, there's a lot of agreement going on there to get things signed today. We know they're going to sign the, the money to get the, the post office money. That's why they all coming back. They're catching their planes. They made this appointment. They got to come back. They got to get this signed. Whether it is already in there. They know how much money they're going to get the uh, post office. Uh, they sign the thing got to do with, is we going to go with the skinny package to include these other things too and get this going? Look, Mark Meadows didn't come back. You know, he uh, he liked Pelosi on the Democrats. He didn't come back and go all the way to Pelosi's office and everything just to be knowing that, you know, he gonna get they're not going to get this done. They're going to get something signed. I'm thinking. None of this is guaranteed, but all the signs saying that definitely they're going to get a, a bill signed for the post office. And hopefully, and uh, respectfully, and um, I'm... I'm we're pretty sure that they're going to put in the Skinny Act, which is going to be uh, parts of the HEROES Act from the Democrats and the Republicans. Or the HEROES Act from the Republicans. Now, there's a lot of little things in there, which one thing that, um, you know, uh, a lot of us is uh, wondering about is child support. Uh, I'm going to get to that in one second, because we know People on Social Security, disability, veterans, still going to get money. Whatever bill they pass, when they pass it, because we're going to get the 1200 Social Security, uh, disability, veterans, and uh, all of that is still going to get railroad retirement. It's still going to get the $1,200. Uh, it seems like they agreed that still they're going to go with what was in the Hills Act as far as dependents. Uh, people going to get $1,200 and if they got a dependent uh, it's going to be $500 but I think they're going to change the whole you know some people was on, uh, dependent on some people's uh, taxes like college students kids under 17 or something and blase they didn't get money I think that's changed and they're going to get $500 but not the whole $1,200 that we was hoping before so uh that's changed. Now, the child support uh, thing, in the HEROES Act, people uh, that owe child support uh, money was taken. They were still eligible. It was almost sent to them, but like child support do with, you know, your income tax check or whatever, it was taken. Uh, so either way it go, you know, make sure they got your address and everything. So, because even if they taking it, and I know when you owe a whole bunch of money, like thirty, forty, fifty thousand or more, that twelve hundred dollars ain't doing no good. But put it on there anyway. You won't regret it later on. But this the deal, though. Uh, the re uh, Democrats agree that they not gonna allow that to happen this time. Even if you owe child support, back loans, or different things that was taken last time, because it wasn't only child support that uh, their money was taken. It was some, some garnishment people had their $1,200 taken too. They stopped that in the HEROES Act. The Democrats did. In the HEROES Act, the Republicans didn't really mention it. They didn't specifically say that, no, nah, we still going to have that taken. I think that was, in, that was up in the air. They're willing to do that. And so um, in the Skinny Act, that they might pass today, uh, 
what I was reading, they really didn't specifically say about child support because they really didn't go into detail of all the little things that are going to be in the skinny act. So it's, it's a 75, 25%, 75% chance that if you owe child support, it doesn't matter, you will still get your check. Most likely, hopefully, if they get this skinny bill passed today, we can read up on it and specifically say if you owe child support, is you going to get your money? I'm going to be right on top of it. I'm going to read all into it to see if we can get our money. Because I owe child support as well. And my $1,200 the last time was taken also. Even though I pay child support, I, I'm, I'm only paying Eric. Actually, I've been paying Eric for some years now. All my kids have been grown. My oldest is down near 40. My youngest just turned 19. And, uh, so I'm only paying past, but they still took it anyway. Even though I've been paying for a long time. Present and past. Uh, so at any rate, today is a very important day. Again, we didn't have plenty of important days where they supposed to came back, got this pass, people having money. Today is another important day. So, you know, after this uh, report that I'm doing now, most likely I'm going to come back later on tonight after uh, we see whether it has failed or not or it succeeded uh, to let us, you know, see what, it, what happened. You know, we're going on hope right now because these folks just just doing something crazy and I really don't care if you say uh, well we gonna vote them out guess what you gonna vote them out and vote some other uh, vote some other politicians in <laughs> they all got the same agenda so vote all you want put them out put them in all that stuff because of this money to me it doesn't matter they all work for one person the government you see what I'm saying so they all got to have the same agenda And they all answer to one person, the government, not the president, the government. I'm saying one person, but the government ain't no one person. There's is a lot of people in the government, so there ain't no one person. The president, Nancy Pelosi, Mark Meadows, or whoever else. They the government. <laughs> they all got still the same agenda. You know, they got to run this country. So, um... This is where we stand. I'm going to run this down one more time where we stand. Today, as we speak, they're voting on a bill to give the post office money to succeed. To get them out of debt or whatever their problem is. To help them make sure that these votes, these mail-in votes that you know they're trying to get started and doing, be successful. Um, uh, this bill they call in the skinny bill, but it's actually called uh, give. Um, let me see. Uh, give Americans stimulus money relief <laughs> bill. Uh, I got it right here, but I uh, I don't know what I did with it. I'll look. I'll tell you what it is the next time. But it's uh, it's AKA the skinny bill. The skinny bill includes money for the post office, money for unemployment, the three hundred dollars, uh, um, uh, eviction protection, uh, some money for the schools to go back to school, and some parents are not sending any uh, kids back to school. The states and stuff going to have to give money to the parents so they can have computers and internet and stuff at home that's going to choose to have the kids at home. Uh, so the Skinny Act to put money in there for states and stuff to help them do that. Uh, in the Skinny Bill, it didn't specifically say money for uh, the $1,200 direct stimulus, but because all parties agree on that anyway, and the president said he assigned it right away, he want to give money to them and things like that, that's going to be included in it. You know, of course, they're going to have to negotiate some little things in there to get this done today. But it's, it's slimmed down where, you know, the most important things get done. Um, so it's 
some of those little things that uh, we're not sure about, which is the child support thing. Uh, the, should dependents get $500 or $1,200? Uh, money, how much money is going to the state? You know, uh, they are already sure about the $300 unemployment. You know, if they get that, that $300 on top of what it is, the state is given for unemployment, that's kind of settled. You know, they want to take out that $100 that the president said he wanted, you know, the states to give, you know, give also, take that out. Um, so, I'm looking on my camera and see who is just pulling up. But at any rate, um, we'll see what happens at uh, later on today. Um, so far, it's kind of weird that Mark Meadows from the Republicans went to Nancy Pelosi's suite personally without other members or whatever personally to try to get this done and uh, she said no uh, basically you know she want to be sure that um, the things the Democrats need is in there you know and, um, and some things and, and the Republicans said hey we want to do it but uh, some of the money that you're asking for to go to the states and the cities or whatever uh, is too much you know, uh, they're going to have to negotiate that. Go from, the Republicans go from one trillion to two trillion. The Democrats come down from three trillion or to one trillion. I mean, two trillion. <laughs> uh, so that this can happen. This hope that it happen if, if, this is the scenario. Uh, if they can come to agreement, which they're going to on the post office and some other things, come to agreement, which the the twelve hundred dollar stimulus check, it ain't no problem. They all agree on that. They can have that sign from the senators and all today. When the senators sign this today, if they sign the skinny package or whatever they might call it today, uh, the president he can come and sign it today. Or he can sign it tomorrow. But no later than Monday. I can't even see that he said he'll sign it today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that means, say if they signed it today and had all parties signed today. Uh, they can notify the Treasury Department to start sending out all of these monies. You know, uh, from employment, uh, for the schools. The $1,200 direct uh, payments to Americans, uh, they can say Monday authorize these these amounts and stuff to the Treasury Department. The Treasury Department said, guess what? It took us two to three weeks after they gave us notification to get everybody their money because it was our first time. But they said they got all of that covered. Guess what? If they tell us on Monday to have this, uh, give us the okay, by Friday we could be sending out checks. It's only going to take us like one week to get this out. Maybe even quicker. Especially if you got direct deposit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if they can get it signed today, I'm not saying this week, but at the, the last week of August, which is not this week, I mean coming Monday, but the next week. Uh, you're talking about like the thirty, the thirty-first, the last week of August, the last days of August. Actually, you know. Uh, so really, it'd be really early September because the last week of August is like Tuesday or something like that of next week, not this coming week, but the week after. We only got one week left, basically one whole week left of August but by August by September 1st or 3rd people should be getting money ding 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 money in your account so let's hope they get it all settled today let's hope that they you know people that owe child support get some money finally because they've been out of money even longer out of jobs ain't been able to help their family different stuff you know, we're not concerned about SSI, SSD, you know, rural, rural retirements because gonna, they don't give money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people waiting that got, uh, unemployment ain't had a check in a week or so. 
need that three hundred dollars on top of what they was getting it ain't nothing close to six hundred it's half of that but it's something uh we can all get this going this week hopefully this week it be all good news starting this afternoon about getting money to the, the americans have a good weekend hope i come with some good news uh later on today peace love and be patient Wear your mask.